Well, it's official. I'm old. Tell this name on YouTube. A couple days ago, I was walking out of work and heading over to a friend's house. And my ankle was killing me. I was limping. And it just steadily got worse and worse and worse. Today, I said, to heck with it. It was so bad, I was crawling around the house on my hands and knees to get, get water, go to the bathroom, that sort of thing. And that's how bad it hurt to step on my ankle. So, okay, I'm going to the, I'm going to the doctor. Go to the doctor. Uh, Natalie's like, you need to go get an x-ray, go to the hospital. I was like, I don't know if I need an x-ray because I don't remember rolling it or anything. Go to the doctor. <clears throat> he says, how'd you hurt your ankle? I said, I don't remember. It didn't seem like I did anything that did hurt it. It just started and got worse and worse and worse. He's like, gout. <laughs> he took one look at how I could, I could barely move my foot just about yay much. And he's like, Still, he looked at me moving my foot, and he looked at uh, where the skin and how the skin was running. It's like gout. That's gout. <clears throat> I know my dad's had trouble with it, and I, I went back and looked. I shot a video a little while back, and I was actually complaining about my toe hurting, and that was probably a minor gout attack. So what's gout? It's too much uric acid in your blood. It gets into your joints and causes uh, buildup in your joints, and the body has a hard time getting rid of it. Well... What this comes down to, the reason I'm, I'm, the reason I'm vertical now and able to walk is because I'm on anti-inflammatories. I'm not taking the, I'm not on the drug yet that gets rid of the uric acid in my blood. So uh, he says, well, the doctor's like, well, okay, let, let, let me give you a, plan, a pamphlet on what to do uh, with gout and uh, what causes it, that sort of thing. Read the pamphlet and basically, you know, you need to cut down on your meat intake. Big meat eater, so that's going to be tough. Alcohol. Uh, I'm not a big alcohol fan, but it was wine as well, of course. Uh, I do enjoy having a glass of wine or now and Well, screw that. I'm, I'm now officially an alcohol-free person. Drink a lot of fluids, uh, especially water and things that contain water. Uh, and I do this anyway. It, it, it does help your body flush out. But, you know, they had a recommendation for all these years to drink eight glasses, eight cups of water during the day. Well, this thing said eight to 12. So I guess what they're doing is they're saying drink a little more than the normal amount of water. So I'm gonna do what I was doing there for quite some time. Uh, just for grins, I was drinking uh, about two glasses of water early in the morning, just extra, above everything else I would take intake during the day. I was just trying to do a cleanse type thing, and I think I'm just gonna stick with that now. So we're sitting in the waiting room, and my, my father, uh, well, I'm about to go in, I'm about to go back. Still don't know if it's broke or whatever. My father starts talking about medical stuff that, that he has going on, and he's like, yeah, I was, I was 45 when all my prostate problems started. And I'm like, I just wanted to punch him. I did, I wanted to take a swing at him. <laughs> I just didn't want to hear that. Because in the back of my mind, I was thinking gout at that point. And my mother was too, she didn't tell me until after. So I'm, the one thing I wish I could have done was got video of me on crutches. My mother <laughs> was helping me get out of the truck and get on those crutches and go into CVS to get the prescription for the anti-inflammatory. And I'm, I nearly busted my ass three times. And so I'm in the doctor's office, he's talking to me. And one of his examples was he had a, he had a uh, gentleman come in, knee was swollen up twice the size. His uh, wife was literally pushing him in a wheelchair to bring him into the office. Uh, the doctor said, yeah, I thought something was really wrong with this guy's knee. I thought he had, he had cracked it or there was, um, he gave me some other disease he thought it was. Sent this guy over to have the knee drained because it was so bad and have it tested, gout. It was straight up gout, <clears throat> and he's like, "So it can it it can happen in your knees, toes, elbows, other joints." So this pamphlet he gave me, I, I guess I could show it to you. Uh, all the pictures of all the men in it are all gray-haired and chubby, and that was like one of the big things you got to do when you get gout is lose weight. And I'm like, you know, I'm not really overweight. <laughs> I hope I never get overweight. I've been trying to fight it all my life. Yeah, I'm 200 pounds, but I'm not I'm not massive. Okay, well, I don't think I'm massive. And it's, you know, you, you think overweight diseases, you think, you know, somebody's got a you know, beer gut out to here and you try and it still isn't good enough. That's what's getting me. So the medicine I got this time was a, an anti-inflammatory and a steroid, which uh, is used to treat flare-ups, uh, but not the cause of gout. Gout is a type of arthritis uh, because, I guess, because it, build, it does build up in the joints. And I guess that's what arthritis is, build up of stuff in the joints. Anyway, so yeah, lifestyle changes due to age, and uh, there, were, there were some cool people on uh, Facebook that talked to Natalie about it, because she, she went on Facebook and was talking about me getting diagnosed with gout, 
and a bunch of people have been diagnosed with it. My, my father calls it the rich man's disease. Well, one of the people talking said her brother was diagnosed with gout at, eight, at I think 18 is what she said. And so, you know, don't feel, don't, it's not do just age, Kelly, these kind of things can happen. All my life I have been terrified of getting stuck on medication. Uh, I just don't want to do it. It's that first bit of medication. It's that first pill you have to take every day that just it has been wearing on me. I'm like, oh, there's going to be a time when I have to get on a medication just because my whole family does it. My whole family ends up going through this. My uncle has gout and he tries to control it with diet and he fails. <laughs> but I don't know. Any inflammatories are not good for you. So you can't stay on any anti-inflammatories very long. You notice I'm not limping hardly at all now. Uh, earlier today, man, I couldn't put uh, I couldn't put any weight on my ankle. Uh, it would just stab me uh, all the way up. It would hurt all the way up into my knee. Oh well. You get older, you have to take care of yourself. I'm going on the medication at some point. We'll see how long we can stave it off using uh, diet control and that sort of thing. I'm old.